Dude, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Sorry I'm a little late. I Our publicist, Mike, didn't forward me over the Zoom stuff, so I had to reach out. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, my wife said that you just texted her. I'm like, oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, that was the only number I could find. I oh, like, yeah. Oh, I, just, I was like, <laughs> I think I'm out. supposed to be doing this, yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this. Um, yeah, our podcast is about your journey in the music industry and how you started make out and, and, and getting to where you are now. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Uh, where, where, where are you now? What part of the? I live in LA. Oh, in LA. Are you from there originally? Uh, no, I'm from the Northeast. Uh, so I was living in Boston for a while before I moved out here. Oh, okay. Is that where you went to school? Like grew up and stuff, went to high school and everything? Uh, in the area. Yeah. Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Right on. How'd you get into music? Um, I started playing guitar. So I, found my dad's old acoustic it was just like this crappy little it wasn't even a full scale length it was like a miniature acoustic okay um that he had like buried in the basement that i just stumbled upon one day um and so i broke that out and i kind of just was playing with that for a while and then uh for christmas that year they bought me an electric guitar and that's the rest is history (laughs) nice yeah so you just started playing by yourself and then got the electric guitar did you then did you start forming like a band or what was next for you? Yeah. Um, so I played, you know, I did the whole I took some lessons for a little while first starting off. Um, and then so that was probably when I was 13. I started playing. And then by 16, uh, when I was in high school, I had started a band with some friends and stuff. Cool. And what yep. you guys, was that just were you writing the songs and stuff? Was that kind of like your yeah. first introduction to playing with people and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I had like jammed with a couple of neighbors and stuff because uh, one of them played drums and the other guy played guitar and his brother played guitar, but that never really like turned into anything. So this uh, was my first like quote unquote serious band with with some people where we played shows and whatnot. And that was like, uh, we were trying to be like the Devil Wears Prada and stuff like that. Okay. Like, really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice kind of where everybody starts i feel like it's either right it's either you start off playing green day and the ramones or you start off playing like you know heavier. Heavy breakdown yeah stuff. right yeah. totally <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so you guys were doing the the heavier stuff and then uh how like where's like when did the makeouts or when did makeouts start was that like years later like tell me the progress of getting to starting that band yeah yeah sure um so i would say I was I just did another podcast the other day too. I was trying to figure out the timeline. I think it was like 2013. Uh, so before we were make out, we used to be called trophy wives. Um, and we were kind of doing like the easy core thing, like four year strong, like happy mm-hmm. music with, with heavier parts. Um, and yeah, I think I joined, I think it joined in like 2013 is when that would have happened. Um, and then, so we played as trophy wives for a while. Uh, we met John Feldman um through the ernie ball battle of the bands you know that they do every year to like win the the slot on warp tour warp tour oh okay yeah and where yeah, was that so, at um so we won the the massachusetts date okay uh, and then what a lot of people don't know is that there's like a final round to that so like they take they take everybody who won the local slots and then they pick four bands to fly out to la to perform in front of the judges for like the grand prize oh really? um yeah so I didn't know I, that. yeah exactly not a lot of people do um so we were one of the four bands that got selected uh john was one of the judges um and while we didn't win that year um after they announced the winner and the show was over john came up to us and he was like hey you guys are like are the rhode island boys i like what you're doing what are you doing for the rest of the weekend uh and we were just hanging out it was all of our first time in la and we were like mm-hmm. cool <laughs> and he was like yeah why don't you swing by the, swing by the studio um wow yeah so that was huge and then uh from there you know we just kind of stayed in contact with john uh for about a year and a half i think we sent like 40 demos to him back and forth Um, oh wow and then eventually he was like hey let's do a record uh and so we came out to la spent a month at his house uh recording the good life um and with the with the change in sound a little bit we decided to rebrand and change it to make out and that's kind of make out was born uh in the studio there at, at john wow at john feldman's place <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow so is that how you guys got like travis barker and stuff on the on that first record and he even helped produce a new song right yep yep okay 
And so that's how you linked up with him through John Feldman. Yeah, because John had just, uh, while we were recording our album, California, the Blink's record California came out, which is the yeah. one that John did. Yeah, uh, okay. So, so he had yeah. just got wrapped up working with with Blink and when you exactly. started with him, that's crazy. Yep. Wow. And from that that battle of the band thing where you met him, like what what like what would you win if you won it all? Like the whole tour or something? Uh yeah, you win like I think it was winning you win like two weeks on warped, uh you win like ten thousand dollars worth of gear and stuff. Uh, okay. Like a bunch of a bunch of new guitars and um, they just kinda of set you up for the tour. So, so Yeah, to speak. pretty much. Gotcha. Yeah. I, um, and just, then I, being Go Being ahead. one of the four finalists, they actually give you a week on Warp Tour. So we were as Trophy Wives, we were on, uh, or yeah, I guess we were still Trophy Wives at the time. But um, yeah, we played a week of Warped in 2015. Oh, that's cool. How was that? Yeah, so, have you had you cool. toured prior to like, doing that? Yeah, yeah, we we had done a little bit of touring. We had done a full U.S. run uh, with a oh. band called Lions Lions. Uh, that was from our area, um, and that was our first experience being out for a long time. And then. Uh, while we were on that run, you know, we found out what our dates for Warped were. So we came home, we we're all stoked, and we were home for like three weeks before we had to go hit Warped, which was really cool. Yeah. I I'm, mean, I'm, I wonder if the band that won with you guys is still around and did anything. I don't know if you can remember. I don't, I don't think that they are, to be honest with That's you. That's interesting because, like, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, we like, you know, it was like a really friendly, um, you know, it's about all the bands and everyone's there to win. But at the same time, you know, we're everybody's stoked because we're like, right. Pick your <laughs> pick as one of the four bands. So they all they put us all up in the same hotel and we just had like a huge hotel party with like all the bands. And stuff. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So like we connected with everybody and like I'm like friends with all those bands on Facebook. And I don't think that the winners have done anything. In a, yeah, in a I was while. just curious because you guys obviously got to work with John Feldman, which is like priceless you know yeah and i wonder what the other he obviously didn't reach out to the the first band the the winner you know what i mean like he obviously yeah. saw something in you guys that he's like hey these kids have you know potential and you didn't win but i just think that's that's funny yeah. how that works i think it, yeah it is just funny i think we're just more his style because like he does a lot of like sort of like more aggressive bands and things like that you know mm -hmm. like bear tooth and story of the year the used Right. Um, and the band, the band that won was kind of more like, uh, they're like a big, like anthem pop rock band, kind of like Got Bastille it. or just something along those oh, lines. Sure. Big, huge drum parts. Mm -hmm. and, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was just curious. Cause it like, it'll be like, I don't know, like American Idol or something like the guys that don't win will right. still, yeah, will yeah. sell the more, more records. <laughs> it's yep. always interesting how that, how that works. You're almost better off like coming in second or third. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm super grateful for that opportunity. I mean, that kind yeah. of sparked started it all. So, so you guys, so you work on uh, on the Good Life. Um, that record comes out, and then did you guys get signed? Like, what what happened next for you after working with Feldman and putting that record out? Yeah, yeah. So, um, we recorded the Good Life. Um, John helped us get a deal with Rise. Um, so we were on Rise Records for a while. Rise put mm -hmm. out the Good Life. Um, we did a ton of touring on the record. Um, we were on all of Warp Tour in 2018. We were on the whole wow. thing. Um, that was crazy summer. <laughs> yeah, tell me about um, that. That must have been nuts. Our stage had like Don Broco, Chase Atlantic, With Confidence, Sleep On It, uh, a ton of bands. It was just an awesome lineup. It was an Rad. awesome stage. I like even. You know, because I, you know, I like a lot of the other bands that were on the other stages too, but I always found myself spending the most time at our stage, which was just kind of cool. Yeah, that's rad. And the, you work with, with, with Confidence on the new song too, right? Or do they work on your, the newest song that you put out? Yeah, yeah. So um, Kyle, our singer Kyle uh, and I, um, well, everybody was out here for some photo shoots and, and whatnot. Um, and then uh, Scott and AJ both left. And um, we had run into Jaden uh, a couple days prior, and he was like, "Yo, like if you guys are hanging out, like let's do let's do some writing together." Um, and so finally, when Jaden was free, um, it was Kyle's last day here, um, and we were like, "All right, well, let's just go head over." Um, and yeah, we basically banged out the whole song in uh, I don't know three or four hours, and then Kyle went straight to the airport. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Wow. Yeah. So we like we worked on like a super constricted window and we we're like, all right, we have like four hours to do this. Let's see what happens. Uh, and yeah, the de it's funny. The demo version of the song is a lot different than the final version, but it's always kind of cool to see songs evolve like that. Yeah, that was the demo for Home? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's the song that you guys put together that quickly. Yeah, that one just came together. It was awesome. Wow. That's awesome. That's really awesome. So is that your yeah. first song that you guys have uh, put out thus far, like since um, the Good Life record? But you guys had like a lineup change right in between there. You, had, you got a new singer and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, Home is the first uh, song that we've put out with our new singer, Kyle. Okay. Has he performed with you guys yet? Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we played two shows in December um, just to kind of like, you know, grease the, the wheels a little mm -hmm. bit. <laughs> you know, all of us have been a little bit of rusty because we hadn't played a show in a year. <laughs> um, and it was the first time we were all playing together as the new lineup. So we uh -huh. just wanted to get a couple shows out of the way to like dust off the cobwebs. And then uh, right before the whole U.S. went on, on lockdown, um, we were supposed to leave for tour like two weeks later uh oh wow. we had a we had a full u.s tour booked and ready to, like it was five weeks across the u.s uh that we had to cancel the last minute because of everything that happened oh my gosh that's awful yep do you have the do you have a full yeah like do you have a full record coming out and uh home is just the first single you put out or um it's gonna be an ep um just for now mm -hmm. uh we have a few other songs done. We have to put the finishing touches on a couple others. Um, uh, but yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, oh, okay. And yeah. I wasn't sure if you had it done and you were like getting ready to tour and, you know, have this big thing with your new singer and then like everything just shut down. Yeah. Well, home was going to come out before we left for tour and everything. Oh, it was. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We were planning on putting the song out and then hitting the road so that everybody could, you know, here's our new singer. Here's the new song. Like come sing along to us at these shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when the tour got canceled, you know, our plans kind of got pushed back a little bit. Sure. Was it, we uh, were, we were supposed to shoot a music video right before we left for the tour too. Like we were like, we were supposed to get together, I think like three days after quarant like everything got locked down, you know, like everybody oh, wow. was going to be, we were going to get together, shoot some music, shoot a music video for home and then hit the road. And, yeah, everything just fell apart. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So you you said the you guys were called Trophy Wives when you first started the band. Yep. And how did you like? I don't think we went over like how did you form that band? Like how did you guys all get together? Or did you join that band? I can't remember. I joined. Uh, okay, so that's what already it was. A band. Yeah, they were yeah. already established. Okay. So yep. you joined them, and then that became Makeout when you yes. were playing with when you were recording with Feldman. And then yep. did you guys think about? Like with getting a new singer, was that weird? Like, is he, he like him singing the old songs? And like, were you thinking about changing the like? Was that ever an option to like? Were you thinking about turning to a different band, or was that just not even in the cards? Yeah, you know, I think, I think everything went through our heads. Um, because when our old singer Sam quit, um, we also didn't have like a full time basis at the time either. We had a buddy of ours filling in. Oh, okay. Um, so, so Sam quit and then it was just me and Scott, our drummer left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we kind of went through the motions. Like we were like, well, you know, it's just the two of us. What do we do? Do we continue? Do we rename? Do we just call it quits? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we went through everything. Um, and then uh, it's just kind of funny that um, our new bassist, AJ used to be in sleep on it. And we spent a ton of time like hanging out on Warp Dolls that summer. Mm -hmm. um and he just kind of fell into our laps he like hit me up one day he's like hey i know you guys don't have a basis right now like you know what are you guys doing what are you plan what are your plans and i was like i hit up scott and i was like hey like aj's like interested in joining like so now we just need a singer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so it was kind of nice like i think i think having aj just join right away kind of like brought the momentum back up for us because we're like okay it's a little less daunting to find one guy than one two. guy right yeah um and yeah so uh aj joined and then it was the three of us and then we're like all right well we just need to find a singer so we mm -hmm. uh we kind of like took we put it out on on the internet we we're like hey you know we're taking submissions for a singer um if you want to try out um just hit us up, send us, send us a cover and, 
yeah, we'll go from there. And we kind of like, we picked some of our favorites and put them out uh, to our fans to see like what the fans thought. Uh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Cause you know, it's a, it's big shoes to fill with a new singer. So mm-hmm. we kind of wanted to see what our fans would, would think of everybody. And yeah, Kyle just ended up being the right guy. What was his cover that he sent you? Uh, well, we had him cover our songs. So Oh, uh, so it wasn't like send a cover and then we'll go sift through them. They were covering your guys' tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got and it. what I really appreciated about Kyle's audition is he picked the hardest song to sing probably on the record. Oh, so really? So he just went, yeah, he went for it. Like a lot of people <laughs> went for Crazy is like our, our most popular the, song. Yeah, the biggest one. But that's not a very hard song to sing. Mm-hmm. Um, like the range isn't really that crazy or anything like that so uh one thing that really stood out to me when kyle submitted his is he chose childish which is the first song on the record and and that one's not easy (laughs) (laughs) okay so i appreciated that right off the bat i was like all right good for you man you didn't take the easy way out (laughs) sure we're we're most of them uh crazy was that the song that yeah majority of people submitted yeah it's crazy or, or ride it out which was another single off the record got it Interesting. That must have been pretty interesting to see what songs people chose too, though. Where uh, that was the majority of them, or was Kyle's the only one that was kind of a yeah one out of left yeah, field? Pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, and like I said, I like I immediately was like, good for him. Like he picked the hard one and went uh-huh. for it, you know. And he sounded great. So, so you so you get so you see his video, you contact him, and then he just starts. It, it obviously it all meshed well when he started playing with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And then, yeah, I mean, we've been, I mean, he's been officially part of the band for probably about a year now Mm -hmm. um, because Sam quit in January last year. um, And then we went through a few months there where we didn't know what we were going to do. And Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's probably been about a year that we've uh, all been together. And yeah, we've just like slowly been putting songs together, working on stuff. Um, And yeah, I mean, besides, besides the, the songs that we have done for the EP, we have, I don't know, maybe six or seven other ones that are like in different stages of being done plus a whole bunch more that are you know just like skeletons and Mm -hmm. and whatever so we've been busy did the writing process change with getting kyle or is it still pretty Um, similar to the first record it's it's a little different um our old singer did a a big chunk of the writing on the last stuff um so i kind of tried to pick up a lot of the slack there um, mm-hmm. And then Kyle is a great songwriter as well. So um, it's kind of worked out like where he'll have some ideas and I'll be like, all right, well, how do we make this make out, you know? And mm-hmm. I'm like, so let's take that idea, bump it up 20 BPM and sing crazy high and let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. He, yeah. I saw that he was a contestant on American Idol or something. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Uh, <laughs> Did he make it to I, the show or? Like, no, he made it just before they had. He had to like come out to LA or something and do all like the. Oh it was, like, really? The, yeah, so it was, like the last it, round. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. It was, like the last round before the like final sixteen or whatever. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you remember? Does Does he have footage from that being on the show and stuff? Uh, yeah, he has some photos and stuff, but it's all owned by whatever company, so it's like hard oh, to get a hold of. Fox or whatever, whoever. Yeah, owns. yeah. Oh, that's funny. I was gonna say that'd be hilarious if he submitted that to you guys as like his audition yeah. when you were looking for yeah. people. Yeah, he's, he's like, like by the American way, I was on American Idol. Idol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, so what do you, what do you guys uh, been doing? Have you been doing any of the like live streaming stuff online? Like, I mean kind of in a weird spot with with covid and then a new singer and a new ep and yeah yeah um yeah we've been trying to keep busy we've done a couple of like uh acoustic performances and things like that live on stream and uh yeah i mean other than that it's just really been focusing on writing writing some more songs because you know that's the only way we're going to be able to really keep busy throughout this whole thing Mm -hmm. Uh, like i'm sure you know the live streams only can do so much i feel like um so it's more just like trying to keep a constant stream of content coming uh just for for fans and then by the time you know who knows by the time everybody's allowed to tour again we could have like 20 songs uh, 20 new songs out (laughs) right sure yeah i know (laughs) who knows when this is gonna let up i saw that you guys did like a q a thing on on twitch yep Uh, that's pretty cool like did they are do you guys use twitch quite a bit like i always thought that was for more of like gaming 
you know um it's kind of been we've been noticing it with other bands as well um it's kind of been like a, a cool platform that people have been utilizing especially since quarantine started um mm -hmm. so us doing the q a that was actually our first time that we actually had utilized uh twitch oh really was it cool like did it work out it's cool it was nice uh we had a bunch of people hop on asking questions about you know just a little bit of everything and um yeah we're gonna we're gonna try to utilize that a lot more moving forward um either you know live performances or just like i don't know guitar playthroughs or all sorts of stuff we're trying to come up with as many ideas as we can that's cool and then you yeah i saw that you played a couple of those like live you know session like live shows type thing like yeah. where it'd be different bands and stuff was that kind of cool like how did that work could you just submit a song that was already finished or did they um, cut to you like all right it's your turn and then you play yeah uh, that's what it's like yeah it's live, oh really so, okay <laughs> yeah they just, they just cut to you and you're like all right well i have 15 minutes sir so how do we kill this 15 minutes <laughs> okay <laughs> and how, how are you guys doing are you all able to gather in the same room kind of uh no so we're all over the place um i live in la kyle uh -huh. and aj both live in chicago oh wow and our drummer scott is from australia so <laughs> <laughs> So is it just you on the session or like, how'd you guys do it? How do you do it? Um, it was just Kyle for most of them. Oh, okay. Right yeah. on. Yeah. I was kind of trying to figure that out. Cause I know a lot of bands are having trouble with the, with playing all together with the latency on zoom and everything with, it doesn't sound yeah, right. It sounds I guess like a it, nightmare. Yeah. When it all <laughs> kind of comes together. So yeah, it's interesting. Right on. So, so home is out. Uh, do you have an idea when the EP will be coming out? Um, not yet. Like I said, we have to throw some finishing touches on a couple songs, but, um, home is out. We have a music video coming out for it in a couple weeks. Um, we have another song that we have queued up, ready to go probably, you know, a couple months later. Um, and then we should have some more details about the EP release. Very cool. That's awesome. Are, is Rise putting it out or no? No, uh, no we're doing this one. No, we're doing this one on our own, which is, uh, it's pretty awesome to be honest with you. Um, because when you know when you're on a record label, uh, you can't always make every decision that you want to make. Um, uh -huh. I guess I could say, and we kind of our hand got forced a couple times that we weren't happy about, and uh, so just to have the freedom to do whatever we want, put out whatever we want, um, mm -hmm. has been really nice. And you know, seeing the money from it is also cool too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> it goes a lot farther when other people don't have to stick their fingers in there, huh? And take yeah, it, yeah, take no take kidding. Their cut. <laughs> <laughs> it makes right. it a little more sustainable when you know we can't do it. We can't do any touring, so yeah. When you're not making just ten percent of all the work you're putting into it, exactly. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Right on, man. Well, thank you so much, dude, for doing this. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I, I really, dude, I love the songs. I, I love the first record you guys put up, but I love the new one. It's it's amazing. Just the sound, thanks. I mean, of uh, your guys' t sound is just like what I grew up loving, you know, the pop punk sound and that whole, like, yeah, just that emo post-hardcore thing. It's yeah. just like, that's where I where I lived and where I grew up. So that's, those are the songs I like. So I, I really love your band, man. It's 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 great, so. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one more question for you. I want to know if you have any advice for aspiring artists. All right. Yeah. So, you know, I get this question every now and then. Um, and one thing I always say is when you're coming up, just make friends with everybody in your music scene. Like if you're playing shows with people, just make friends with all of those other bands because um, you never know how far that's going to get you. And like that's, that's how I ended up in Trophy Wives. I was playing in another band at the time. Um, and then, you know, those guys were looking for new members. And because I, you know, had been friends with everybody, you know, it was an easy, easy transition. And then um, from there, you know, you just meet people and it's just, you know, just be nice to everybody, make friends with everybody. And, and you never know where that's going to get you. Bring me the best world, yeah.